A crowd of several thousand high school students assembled in New York City's Union Square after walking out of school. They expressed anger about issues they say directly affect them, thousands of miles from Ferguson, Missouri. Well, I know myself and a lot of other people who are afraid to walk to the store, afraid to, when I was in Westchester in the past, I was afraid to go to the store, I was afraid to go to my house, I was afraid to go to my friend's house because I was afraid the police would, police officer would kill me or harass me. Some of the students expressed frustration with the repeated calls for calm from President Barack Obama. How do, can he expect for us not to protest when this can be one of us? This can be, you know, one of our friends, one of our cousins, our own parents. It's, just, it's harmful. It's, it's just bad. After walking out of school, the students marched throughout lower Manhattan, demanding justice for Michael Brown and chanting against racism. They concluded their rally at Times Square. Along the march route, several young people were arrested. The students expressed anger at the reaction they received from the NYPD. If we're peacefully protesting, they're like raging at us with different type of weapons and I don't think that it's right. High school teacher Rachel Chapman joined her students in walking out to protest. This is the beginning of a movement that has started amongst young people here. As the students concluded their rally in Times Square, a long-range acoustic device used to attack protesters with ear-piercing sounds was unveiled by the police, who continued to order the students to disperse. The New York City walkouts took place as part of a national call, with thousands of students walking out of school and protesting all across the country. Caleb Maupin, Press TV, New York.